morning vlog. It is morning. I'm already dressed. Look at that. I've been productive today. Fingers crossed my migraine is actually gone because I don't feel it, but I'm still feeling pretty tired, so. Watch Rudy play fetch. Isn't that adorable? Get it. Fun fact, Rudy's the only dog we've ever been able to teach to play fetch because he's brilliant. Go get it. You gonna bring it back? <laughs> and he always brings it back. Until he's done playing, then he just leaves it there. That's how you know he's done. Anywho. Squishy's awake too. Good morning, Squishy. Good morning. Well, I uploaded the vlog today. It was super duper short because yesterday I basically just laid on the couch and moaned about how migrainey I felt. So I didn't feel like vlogging that for you guys because I feel like it would be pretty darn boring. So hopefully today's vlog will be interesting. We're gonna go hang out with some friends later, get some pizza. Possibly I'll eat some, we don't know. Nate and I are playing some Skyrim, which I wanted to play yesterday, but I couldn't because my migraine was terrible. Hey, why don't you ever hold the camera? I don't know, because you just <laughs> take it and you just do it. Skyrim away. Well, and by Nate and I are playing Skyrim, I mean I do all the traveling from one location to the next, and he does all the everything else. <laughs> Pretty much the fighting, because it, it's... Okay, it's but rough. I have... I have issues with the fighting, okay? Because it's all in first person, so like sometimes they're playing the danger music and I'm like looking around and then I turn around and it's like, ah! Because it's right there and it freaks me every time. Every time. I've thrown the remote a couple of times. It's very, and trust me, I'm not being over dramatic. It really does give me a panic attack. It's very bad. Yep. It's rough. I've lost my hearing kind of in my <laughs> left ear. So. You have not. I don't scream that loud. <laughs> Gracious! Anyways, we'll update you guys later. That's what I'm doing today. Hopefully it doesn't exasper exasper exasperate my migraine. <laughs> exasperate. I am all hooked up. So I'm all hooked up. I am... Yes, Rudy, I'll throw your toy for you. I am teaching Nate how to hook up to my fluids. Today I just kind of walked him through how I do it and tomorrow he's gonna be hooking me up so fingers crossed he doesn't kill me um the reason I had to like I had to teach people how to hook me up to my fluids like Nate and my mom is because if I'm ever feeling too sick to hook myself up it's important that I still get my infusion and I can't always just call a home health care nurse to do it because usually they don't do the actual infusions they just do the port care so um it behooves me for them to know how to hook me up so that if I'm ever not feeling great or I need my, influ my infusion sort of on an emergent basis, they can hook me up to it. But it's still really nerve wracking because um, for me, I wanted to be a doctor before I got sick anyways, and sterile protocol is sort of just something I memorized when I was researching ports. But for them, obviously, you know, they love me, but they're not medical people, right babe? Mm, what? You love me, but you're not like a medical person. Yeah. You, you like don't want to be a nurse or anything like that. I really know. So it's really nerve wracking for me to teach them because I like to have my control. I'm a controlling person. She so. is very controlling. I am. So I'm slowly but surely teaching them to hook me up to my fluids. And then whenever I learn how to access myself, I guess they're going to learn that too. All right, you guys, I always cry laughing because I said the worst joke ever known to mankind. It was, it was true. It was really bad. Okay, but I've I've since I've since um, revised it to be better. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Ready. So, little backstory here. I stopped being able to walk this January, which was shortly after or before our newest president in America was elected. Are you ready? I can't stand his president. <laughs> it's so terrible, you guys. I think it's just about a worse than the previous version of that joke. <laughs> Do you want to tell them the previous joke? Uh, I think it was along the lines of I can't stand for this economy. <laughs> oh wait, wait, I got another one. You ready? You ready? Sure. People keep telling me to stand up for what I believe in, but I just can't. <laughs> that was a little bit better. There you go. I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. Wheel share jokes are getting... they're getting... That was a little less terrible. Than <laughs> a little less ones. terrible. You got, a little terrible. Do you have any good terrible. ones? Not right on the spot, no. Not right on the spot, damn it. No, I was not. I was not trying to think of. Uh, I can't stand for these jokes for the last five minutes. I can't stand for these. Jokes. 
Hey, any wheelchair joke works. So I just realized I didn't update you guys. Nate and I are going to go try to hang out with some friends or family. What? See, that's like that annoying green line where they're technically not related to me yet, but they're gonna be. Yeah. As soon as you get married <laughs> to me, then my brother will be related to you, and then we're also hanging out with his friends. We're gonna go hang out with some friendlies, which are my new terms for friends slash family members. <laughs> well, they're like the, the cool family members that aren't like super boring that you want to like spend an hour with for uh, like once a year kind of people. Um, but. Anyways, that's what we're gonna do. Thankfully, my migraine hasn't come back, so I should hopefully be having the energy to do that. The only sucky thing is my stomach's being stupid and my nausea's really bad, and I mean, it's kind of my bad because when we got pizza, I had a, like a slice. I mean, I had it because my body has been fighting this allergic reaction, so it definitely needed the energy, but my stomach didn't want the energy. So I'm running my fluids, hopefully that eases my stomach, because sometimes it does. If not, I'm gonna just pop some Zofran because why the heck not? And Nate's gonna go rent what movie are we watching, babe? Bus Baby! Bus Baby! I don't know. This is either gonna be extremely hilarious or so stupid that I'm gonna wanna pull my eyes out. <laughs> Let's hope it's the first one. <laughs> shall see. We are. squished together. Back home. Sorry, I had to take a break for a nausea spell. You okay? Yep, it passed. <laughs> All right. Look, when you do that, you shake the camera. Why don't you just hold? Okay. <sighs> We're back home. I'm really tired, but we had a good time. It was nice hanging out with somebody other than just you. No offense, but I love hanging out with you, but sometimes I need some fresh faces. She gets tired of me very easily. <laughs> do not. I finished my infusion, so I'm no longer hooked up. Got my little cap on my port. So I have a really bad headache, but it's not where I, it doesn't feel like an allergic headache, but um, I got it like shortly after we flushed with the heparin. So I'm, I think it's probably a heparin side effect because headaches can be a side effect of heparin, but it sucks and it's not fun. So I'm hoping that won't pass. Um, I'm also, fingers crossed, I'm hoping it's not like the beginning of my body starting to react to heparin because that would suck. There's no room. Mm -mm. No room. Mm, yeah, we watched Boss Baby. Oh That's yeah. That's kind of funny. An update on that. That wasn't terrible. It actually got it got some. It was really weird, but it got some good laughs out of us. It's kind of creepy in some spots, and then just like really weird in other parts. It's just, like interesting. Mm -hmm. But so. I mean, I'd recommend it to someone who wants a good laugh. Yeah. I don't know how much I, w I would say about showing it to like kids, but yeah, for a kids movie, it was pretty weird. It, was it went really weird. it went pretty dark sometimes for a kids movie. Some very weird horror story kind of like parts. Mm -hmm. So, but it was, it was pretty funny. Other than that, so she's pretty much going into a Benadryl coma, or that's what she likes to call it when she gets really drowsy from Benadryl. So we are going to sign off for the day. She's going to try and get some sleep, hopefully. Uh, maybe watch a little bit of Spongebob while we try and go to sleep. And so yeah. Uh, thank you for watching today's video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And good night.